join Forum IS Academy, trusted by hundreds of toppers, including IS Rank 1 Shruti Sharma. So in the <coughs> last class, we were discussing the salient features of the Indian constitution. And <coughs> we had discussed that the Indian constitution is basically a written constitution. And therein we had also discussed the difference between the <coughs> written constitution and an unwritten constitution. <coughs> now coming to another feature of the Indian uh, constitution or the Indian political system that it provides for a parliamentary form of government. It provides for a parliamentary system or parliamentary form of government. Now, <clears throat> here when we talk about parliamentary system, across the world, there are two types of political systems which we find in the countries and uh, basically here from the prelims point of view we have got a topic called political systems so here we will be taking into consideration this concept of parliamentary system and what is the alternative form of government which is present in some other countries so it is a type of classification. So in the next sentence you can write <coughs> based on <coughs> based on the relationship based on the relationship between the executive between the executive and the legislature and the legislature the political systems have been classified the political systems have been classified as parliamentary and presidential i repeat based on the relationship between the legislature and executive the political systems have been classified as parliamentary and presidential underline <coughs> based on the relationship between legislature and the executive so in a country <coughs> what is the relationship between the legislature and the executive we have got two forms of government one by one i'll tell you First of all, coming to the parliamentary system. So, if we talk about a parliamentary system, in a parliamentary system, we have got two heads. Head of the state and head of the government. Sorry, <coughs> head of the government. Head of the state is the nominal head. In technical language, we also say that he is the DG or head. DG or. So sometimes you will find such type of words, DG or means nominal <coughs> and when we talk about head of the government he is the real head 
that is the de facto <coughs> the de facto head for example <coughs> if we talk about united kingdom in the united kingdom the head of the state is the crown and head of the government is the prime minister if we talk about india the head of the state the president and the head of the government is the prime minister now <clears throat> here you say that the real head is the head of the that is the prime minister in both the countries now <clears throat> why it is known as parliamentary system parliamentary system here will not mean that such a means a parliament exists in such countries it is legislature is present in every country but here basically what happens what we have seen is that the head of the government or the prime minister he must be a member of the parliament so the parliament provides for the head of the government so and why parliament word has been used because such a system evolved in the united kingdom and in united kingdom the legislature is known as the parliament सो so, इसीलिए वहीं से इवॉल्व हुआ ये कॉन्सेप्ट पार्लियामेंट्री फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट का सो इट इज द पार्लियामेंट विच प्लेज एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल यू सी आवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स दे मस्ट बी अ मेंबर ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट इधर ऑफ द लोकसभा और द राज्यसभा दिस इज द फर्स्ट डिफरेंस वी कैन से हेड ऑफ द स्टेट एंड हेड ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट देन सेकेंड फीचर यू कैन राइट ऑफ ए पार्लियामेंट्री सिस्टम a minister a minister that is a member of the executive that is a member of the executive <clears throat> must be a member of the legislature must be a member of the legislature and third point you can write the executive the executive is responsible the executive is responsible to the legislature especially the lower house especially the lower house now i'll explain it with the help of a illustration those who may not have understood it you see in the parliamentary form of government the electorate it elects the legislature and the legislature provides for the executive here we are talking about political executive <coughs> electorate means the voters those who vote means we if we are the voters we are the electorate we elect our representatives and the party which has got majority in the lower house its members they become the ministers that is what we have written so that is the second point that you have written aapne second point kya likha tha nahi uske pehle wala pehla to aapne ye point hai pehla ye point tha ye pehla point 
Second point, a minister. Yes. So here, a member of the executive, that is a minister, he must be a member of the legislature. You see, all our ministers are there. They are either the member of the Lok Sabha or the Rajya Sabha. At the state level, they are either the member of the Vidhan Sabha or in the states where we have got bicameral legislature, legislative council also. So here we can say <coughs> that there is fusion of the legislature and the executive. No doubt in our country there is a law that a non-minister can be a non-member can be a minister for six months. हमारे यहाँ छह महीने तक कोई भी मंत्री बन सकता है without being a minister, a member. लेकिन within six months he has to get elected. Done. So you must be a member of the legislature. Then only you can be appointed as a minister. You see our external affairs minister. He is a member of the Rajya Sabha. Then our home minister. He is a member of the Lok Sabha. So you should be either the member of one of the houses. And third point we have written is that the executive is responsible to the legislature. <coughs> Especially the lower house. So, here, till the time this political party has majority in the legislature, that is lower house. Lower house is the popular house, which the members of which are elected directly by the people. So, this executive is responsible to the legislature for all its actions. It means if the lower house passes a no confidence motion, then the government will no longer be there. So basically, for, for example, if I am responsible to you, so I will be answerable to you for each of my every action. And you can pass a resolution to remove me. That is responsibility. Three points that we have written. In the prelims examination, state forward question. That <coughs> which of the following is not an element of parliamentary system? Which one, of the, which one of the following is a feature of a parliamentary form of government? So not and is. Us pe aap dhyan de de na. Is se teen point se bahar sawal pariksha mein nahi puche jayenge. Then. <coughs> Coming to presidential system. So the such type of system is there in our country. Now in some countries like United States of America, we have got the presidential system. Now in a presidential system, The head of the state and government are the same. All the decisions are taken by the council of ministers, headed by the prime minister. The president is the signing authority. But here all the decisions are taken by the president and he himself signs also. To declare emergency. The Prime Minister will give advice to the President regarding it. Then the President will sign it. Here the President can take decisions himself. So he is the head of the state as well as head of the government. Then second feature you can write. <coughs> Sorry. A member of the executive a member of the executive cannot be cannot be a member of the legislature cannot be a member of the legislature <coughs> so here the president and the other ministers, they should not be the members of the legislature. Bilkul alag alag hai. That is, liklo, that is, that is, 
there is a clear cut division of powers sorry there is clear cut separation of powers in such a system <coughs> in such a system now you see <coughs> what we have written here dekho इसका मैं आपको एक इलेस्ट्रेशन से बता देता हूं सपोज वी हैव द इलेक्टोरेट द यूएस केस द इलेक्टोरेट इट इलेक्ट्स द मेंबर्स ऑफ द लेजिस्लेचर and in separate elections it elects the us president who is the chief executive now when we talk about the us legislature it is known as the congress which has got two houses the senate and house of representatives the people elect the members of the senate every 6 years and the members of the house of representatives are elected every 2 years it is just like our lok sabha in our lok sabha we have a term of 5 years yeah the house the term of the house of representatives is 2 years so people they elect the members of the senate every 6 years and they elect the members of the house of representative every 2 years in ke election se इनके सेहत पे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है देर इन ए पार्लियामेंट्री फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट वॉट वी हैड सीन दैट द पार्टी विच हैज गॉट मेजोरिटी हियर इट्स दैट पार्टी फॉर्म्स द गवर्नमेंट इट्स लीडर बिकम्स द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इट्स मेंबर्स बिकम द मिनिस्टर्स बट हियर दिस इज नॉट द केस एनी पोलिटिकल पार्टी कैन हैव मेजोरिटी इन द हाउस ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव और सेनेट इट हार्डली मैटर्स and the president's term is not affected by any change here the us president is elected for a term of 4 years <clears throat> so it is a separate election and <clears throat> after a person is elected as the president of america then he appoints persons of his choice as the ministers apni marzi se and those persons should not be the members of the legislature in america the ministers are known as secretaries just as we have got minister of external affairs in america it is known as secretary of state so if a person is appointed as a secretary then or a minister he should he must not be a member of the legislature if a senator is appointed as a secretary then first of all he will resign and then he will be taking oath you cannot be a minister as well as member of the legislature at the same time so there is clear cut separation of powers here to ye aapka us system hai 